Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is my sideboard, my dining room sideboard y'all. So I'm going to, I'm sitting out here right now as you know my sideboard is in my dining room which is through that door right there. And when I'm done doing my little prep work then we'll walk out there and I'll show you everything that I did. This video probably will not be extremely long, so, but I do want to get started because I do have a couple of things to create while we're sitting here and a couple of things to haul. So first of all, let me show you this. This is a pumpkin that I got last year and I got it from, I will tell you, uh, I don't know, size, under compare our price. I believe it was Home Goods. I believe it was Home Goods, and I paid $14.99 for it. It doesn't say on them. Usually that's Home Goods when it doesn't say. But this is kind of a, a, a almost a gray blue. I don't know how it's telescoping across there to you guys, but it's almost like a gray, kind of a light blue. And I just love it. I just think it's beautiful, and I want to put it in my decor. Now, it doesn't necessarily match my blue, my cobalt blue, but... I think if I wrap some pit berries around it, my blue and white pit berries, then it's going to be beautiful. So I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday just to look for something that will help me out with my endeavor. I didn't know, I knew I wanted to use this. I didn't know I wanted to use it on the sideboard. But I went in there looking. I said, I want to take my grandmother's lamp out of that tray. I want to move it to one side. I'm still using it. I'll never put that beautiful lamp away, you know, and I'll show it to you when we get out there. But I, that will still be on that sideboard. But I didn't want it to be in the tray. I wanted to do something different. So I wanted to have another focal point in the middle of the sideboard. So I found this at Hobby Lobby and I paid $24.99. It was half price, half off at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to put this on this. I'm gonna make a pit berry ring for around the bottom of it. So I think that will be super pretty. And uh, at new, uh, that shop two times new, I got this months ago and I don't think I ever hauled it. If I did, my apologies, but I don't believe I did. I think I stuck it in my cabinet and I was in my, uh, stuck it in my hutch and I was down in there putting a bird away. That's where all my birds are. That's the way where all my birds are nesting down in my big hutch in the in the uh, dining room. I saw I uh, put my eye on this and I went, oh, 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 let me grab that out. Isn't that pretty? And I I don't even remember. It, this was like six bucks, something like that, y'all. But isn't it pretty? And I thought, perfect, perfect for fall. Perfect for fall. So I'm gonna be putting, just making a little tuff of these and if y'all my lamp is kind of a pewter color and I thought that will pair beautifully with this so I think I'm just going to put a tuff of these in here so and then I'm really excited about this next idea I had <laughs> let me put a picture here I was going to use one of these plates uh these gold plate with the you know with the pumpkins like I used up on my hutch I was going to use one of one of those for on like the other end. I'm gonna have the lamp, I'm have the lamp on one end, I'm gonna have the big pumpkin in the middle, and then I wanted something and I was gonna put that that uh, plate up on this. Well, I'm not changing the table runner, which is just like the tablecloth that I have in there, which is a blue and white, very bold blue and white. And I thought, that just did not pair very nicely with that. And I was like, no matter what I put with it, it wasn't gonna pair. I love them up on my hutch. I think they're beautiful and they pair beautifully up there once I got everything together. 
But I just want, I put it there and I was like, Chris, this isn't working, this isn't working, this isn't working. And I was like, what can I do? Well, I had one charger left. I had one charger left. I have found one more of my Staffordshire plates, only it was an odd size. It wasn't as big as a dinner plate and it's not as small as like a little saucer. It's a, I had never seen this size and I only saw one. And so anyway, I had Chris do this. Look, <laughs> here is the charger. This is one of my milk glass plates that milk glass plates that D sent me. Look at that. And then the little Staffordshire plate. And so this will go, I don't know whether I'm getting it on there right, on this stand and it will go on the other side. Isn't that pretty? I'm like, hello. That also too, this will come back out. It'll go away for Christmas and then it'll come back out in January and it will become part, it will become a staple piece. So I love this, I love it. So that will go on the other side. So next, I want to cut up a pitberry garland, one of my blue and white pitberry garlands, because I figure I can put something else on here, <laughs> knock myself out, on this, three candles, something, make something else on this after fall. Maybe something new for Christmas, I don't know, or I might put it away. I put uh, other things out there at Christmas, that's usually a white table, so I'm not sure this would pair nicely. It's just usually I have white Christmas trees and a white Santa Claus and white, white, white on that table. So I'm not sure. But anyway, regardless, let's get my Pitberry Garland out here. And of course, this is my Pitberry Garland from thepitberrybarn.com. It's one of the... I ordered more from when I called this before. I ordered a couple of more. And I have two left over that are going to go on my mantle after Christmas love it that much. So anyway, sorry for the ruffling of the bag. <laughs> I bet you that person, I know we all say it. We all say it, all of us creators, because that one person gave Kim that hard time that one time, and I bet you that person hears us all saying it and going, oh man, maybe I should have never said that. Hmm, maybe not. Sorry. I'll be a little starky. That was a little starky. Sorry. <laughs> Can't stand the negativity, y'all. <laughs> anything first thing anyway first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna move you over here a little bit maybe but you can see what I'm doing my goodness I've got my glasses all wound up here I've got my external battery out here this is my external battery that I that I keep plugged in to charge my phone while I am recording and I don't know whether I'll put anything, it might just sit like this, but another wrought iron piece to kind of tie in to. So let's start out with, what I'm gonna do is put glue dots all the way around the edge of this. I'm gonna work with that right now. I'll see if I need to add more. I don't think I will. Okay. Now, I've got my snippers here, and I just want to take a minute, and I want to get all the pip berries pushed in one direction, away from the stem. See, this is the, this one, there's one brown stem that runs all the way through the pip berries, and I want to expose that stem, and that stem is what I'm going to attach onto this. Hopefully, I won't need more than one. I was hoping I'd have a little bit left, but I don't know. We'll see how we do. So, let me start, and I'm gonna start at the end, which is here. All of this is just extra. This pit berry, I'm telling you guys, oh, it is awesome. Let's hope one will do it here. I have more if I need. I don't really, I would rather not, though. So let me, I'm gonna start right about, right about there. Try not to get it in my tea <laughs> or knock my tea over. Can y'all see that? I have those orange picks sitting over there? I do not know 
whether I'm going to want to add orange into this. You know, my theme has been with my with my uh, fall has been blue, white, and burnt orange. And I might like this table not to have an element of orange on it. We'll see. We'll see if this is even going to work. I don't know. Ugh. Kind of muscling it into place here. And I can see a good place to cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut that off. Hopefully it will fill in. Sorry for the squeaking of the tray here. There we go. All right, now, I thought I might have to use a tie wrap, but I don't think so. Ooh, I think I like this. I'm so sorry, I should have had a towel out here. Ugh. I'm gonna go get me a tea towel, you guys, and set this on a tea towel so that we don't have to hear this squeaking. It's making me crazy. I'm so sorry, it's like fingers on a chalkboard and it fingernails on a chalkboard. Set this down here. And that way, oh, I won't give you guys the heebie-jeebies as I'm doing this. I'm so sorry. Goodness gracious. berries are usually pretty bendable and pretty friendly when it comes to that. So I'm just going to work my way around. And I don't care if they're kind of like, you know, woo, flouncy and kind of wild. In fact, I'd rather them be a little bit like that. just like that. I thought about, see, I just don't know, y'all. Yeah, I could. Hi, how you doing? We heard the, that was me on the counter, sorry. I put a, I put a towel under it that was this. It's all good, I just it's me, sorry. I was just telling them on the, on, I'm recording here, and I was just telling them, like, oh my goodness, I need to put something under this because it's going to drive us nuts. So, well, we heard your chimes. We heard those. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think, you know what, you guys? I just don't know whether I want an element of orange. I keep saying maybe. I know after Christmas, it's just going to be the, the, the blue. But since this is kind of my theme, you know, in there, I probably should put some every now and again, huh? Got these from Hobby Lobby. I'm sticking it underneath the stem of the pit berry. That's the Keurig. <laughs> We got squeaking going on today, like crazy here. <laughs> but I got these from Hobby Lobby and they were $3.99, 50 per 40, whatever it is at Hobby Lobby, 40% off. looks pretty. Wow. I like it. This is all the stuff that came out of uh, the 
tray that was around the lamp. And we have four. That would really pull that in, wouldn't it? I only have three of these though, so maybe just around the front a little bit. professional anything. But I know what I like. We're making that the front. I might have to get it in there too and play with it. with that. state floral. I have no idea where these came from, you guys. I really don't. But they're kind of cool. I think maybe Joann's, because I think I saw some of these in there. So, let's cut about that much off. I'm not going to put any of the Again, I'm not sure where this is going to be sitting out there. Just a little something. Okie dokie, you guys. Let me go ahead and get these little things in place, and then I will come and get my camera and take you out there, and I'll talk you through and show you where I put any everything. And we'll see how it all looks out there. Oh, fingers crossed that it looks okay. I'm really liking how this turned out. I was, uh, it was kind of better than I had imagined uh, with adding the things that I had in the tray to begin with and then adding the touch of fall. I like it with the, with the, uh, with the leaves. And I can see myself just pulling the leaves out and leaving the other stuff in for after Christmas, you know? This little concept is working out pretty well, y'all, so far. Of course, I still have, you know, good many to do yet, so we'll see if I can keep this up. Ah! But anyway, uh, while I'm looking at you here, let me go into some final words and say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Come on back, though, and I'll show you where all this goes. <laughs> Bye. Okie dokie, everybody. Here we go. This is my sideboard here in the dining room. Over there is the big hutch. And here is my poor, decrepit dining room table covered. You can see I've been working covered with my stuff. 
that I have been working with all this time. But here is the finished sideboard, yay. Of course I will be doing a home tour when I get everything done. And I actually did light a couple candles just for this little ending video here. <laughs> There's my plates. No, I don't do a tablescape, but I thought if I did, I would want it to look like that. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? So I really love how that worked out. And then just the one lone candle and that pumpkin, I have no idea, you guys, where I got that or where I got these silver pumpkins. I believe I got these in a trio at Home Goods last year. The other one's over here on the other side, but uh, don't quote me on that. And then just a couple of those same blue candles have been, have been out since I did my blue and white decor. And then there's the centerpiece that worked out really pretty. I'm super happy with that pumpkin, which matches actually this to a T. It looks really pretty in person. Hopefully it does in video too. But And then on this side I have the other candlestick. And there's a little vase with the little kind of pewtery looking whatever they are coming out of it. There's the other pumpkin and then there's the faith and there is my grandmother's lamp that was passed down from my grandmother to my mom to me that will always be here in my home somewhere so I'm very happy with how this worked out in the end again I had I was thinking about this forever I have three uh these are placemats kind of snug together. If I had my sewing machine together, I'd put a seam down, but I'm not worrying about it. You don't look at that, you look up to the, to the decor. So I'm good with that. There I am in the mirror. <laughs> so uh, with all that said and everything looked at now, <laughs> I'm not sure what's next. Uh, probably either that hutch back there my grandmother's hutch or the uh, dining room lantern. I'm not sure, I'm not sure which hutch, which one was which. That hutch is gonna be kind of a blushy pink like you can see in it there. Um, but this, this centerpiece will mimic this a little bit that I just did, I hope. I'll give it a nod anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's it for this one. So I'll just say once again, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. <laughs>